Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Steve, and welcome to another episode of Monday Madness, uh, where we have something really special for you guys today. Um, first, I want to start by taking care of some housekeeping items. Uh, I want to thank Dean at The Live Place, www.theliveplace.com. Um, he's also at Dreamers Empire in The Live Place on YouTube as well. Dean hosts our show, as well as over 60 other shows. Please go check out him. Also want to thank my partner channels. First up, we have Mouse Talk, who just hit 1,500 subs. Congratulations to Walt and Melissa. They are uh, incredible people. And now Walt will ride Tower of Terror with us uh, in August. So, And he is definitely afraid of that. So uh, we're really happy to see them. They go live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 o'clock. And then we do sports night uh, with Walt and myself on Saturdays at 8 o'clock as well. I want to thank my other partner channel, Rob Fuzz. Go check him out. He just recently hit 2,000 subs. So make sure you catch him. He goes live on Fridays with either Frankie Friday or Pub Talk around 4 to 4.30. So make sure you check him out as well. And, of course, my power channels, the Shep family, uh, Brandy and Dave, Zippity Doodad, the three, the four of us combined make up a show called Dis and That, which is on Wednesdays. It's turning into something that we really love to do, really trying to to uh, entertain the, our audiences. I think we're, uh, we're getting better every day. Um, speaking of that, we have um, – even got our nice little koozies already. So we have our dis and that koozies with hashtag on topic, off topic. These were uh, made by uh, Patrick's from Zippity Doo Dad's wife, Nicole, Zippity Doo Mom. Uh, very talented. Uh, we couldn't be more appreciative that we have these. She actually made us each two of them. So we have our own official dis and that koozies now. Um, very excited for that. Thank you so much, Nicole. Very, very talented. Um, and we didn't even know they were making them. So that, that, that's even better. So, uh, again, Nicole zippity doo mom. She is Nicole C in the chat. Make sure you guys go check them out as well. And, uh, this, this and that this Wednesday will be at nine 30 on zippity doo dad's channel. We, uh, yeah, get them all their hot. He says we will be, uh, talking about the monorail lounge crawl. So that that'll be a little interesting topic that we will, uh, go through the different lounges across that, uh, around the monorail loop. Okay, so let me see who we have in chat. And it, it, we have, I uh, hope I saw, is it Elliot Dude or Elliot Dud? I hope it's Elliot, I hope I said it right the first time. Elliot Dude, uh, Rachel Susog, nice to see you guys in here. Zippity Doodad is here as well. Shep, my man, Shep family. He is another part of the Dis and That crew. Jeff with Dole Whip Dad. Thank you so much, buddy, for being here. If you guys haven't checked out Dole Whip Dad, he's a great friend of mine. Please go check him out as well. He does great ton content as well. Just an enjoyable guy to watch. We have Kay Atwood. Thank you so much, Kay, for being here. And there's my partner channel, Rob Fuzz. Thanks, buddy, for being here. Miguel Benitez Jr. They are freshly moved into their new house, and they will be continuing their content, uh, I believe, Sunday. If you're going to be live tomorrow, Miguel, let us know in the chat. But I think it's Sunday. Part of Rose's World, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Donna Jaworski, the nicest person I know. Per uh, Perfectly Cat, thank you so much for being here. R. Johns is here. Guys, make sure you go sub to R. Johns. Get him to 1,000 subs. Yes, you'll you'll notice he does not have content yet, but if we get him to 1,000 subs, he will live stream, and you can catch him well in a lot of Resort TV One streams. So please go sub to R. Johns. Uh, Anna Isabel, Z oh, wow. <laughs> Sick kick. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Let's just go with Anna Isabel. Anna Isabel, thank you so much for being here. Um, yes, we do have merch. Uh, let's see here. I'm getting caught up, guys. One second. Lorena Zapata, thank you so much for being here. And, oh, I saw Mouse Talk. Hey, buddy, how are you? Everybody say congratulations to Mouse Talk for getting to ride Tower of Terror and for getting 1,500 subs. So that's awesome. Um, yes, those koozies are definitely hashtag money for sure. Mike Wheeler, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Appreciate you. LSU mom, thank you for being here. Uh, I think I've, let's see here. Downscale, what's up, buddy? Holly Knopfsinger, thank you so much for being here. Guys, I think I'm caught up in the chat. If I missed you, please just repost. We'll get back to you, um, and I'll try to pay attention to the uh, to the um, the comments as well. So we have something going on tonight in honor of the whole Toy Story 4 coming out, giving people a chance to kind of see Toy Story 4 now, as well as the uh, Toy Story Land anniversary yesterday figured we'd do a bracket of Toy Story characters. So most likely these brackets, when I typically do them, are this one will be two two weeks. I have it scheduled for two weeks. First round will complete tonight and everything else will complete next week. 
Um, I don't have anything fancy today. No fancy brackets on there. We're just going to go through the bracket. And if you guys have questions about who somebody is, let me know. And I will, um, I will get to it. And downscale saw, said he saw toy story Four yesterday. I know Shep saw toy story Four today. Uh, <clears throat> I think I do need to clear something up too, guys. I loved Toy Story 4, just to make sure everybody's clear that I didn't hate the movie by any means. I love Toy Story 4. I just did not like the ending. Um, it is, in my opinion, don't don't spoil it for anybody. In my opinion, it's not what would have happened. It's just no way. It's not, there. that's not the way it should have ended. It's not the way it would have ended. Nobody else say anything about it. That was the only thing I just did not like about it. Other than that, it was a fantastic movie, and I didn't like Ducky and Bunny. But... When everybody gets to see it one day, we will have a review of it. So there are characters from Toy Story 4 included in this bracket. So if you're not sure who somebody is, just do the best you can and, and uh, give us a good vote. All right. <clears throat> hey, Two Real Geeks. What's up, buddy? Thank you for being here. Dean, there's Dean with Dreamers Empire, guys. Make sure you go support Dean right there, Dreamers Empire. He hosts the show as well as like 60 other people, 60 other channels as well. So make sure you go support Dreamers Empire and the live place, please. Okay, so let's just get right into the bracket because we tend to move a little slow. We'll get through the first round. If we have time at the end, we'll have a little bit of discussion. <clears throat> okay, so first up, um, I, I took these rankings from a website. I, I went through a bunch of different... Uh, thank you, Dean. We really appreciate you, buddy. Um, we, we, I took these rankings from a website, went through a bunch of different websites looking for rankings, so I just put them in here, and this is the way they fell. So... I, you know, just they kind of matched up. I thought it was a pretty good matchup, so we're going to use it. There's Nicole C, guys. Nicole C, thank you so much for those uh, these uh, koozies. They are incredible. We got our first this and that products. We really like them. Hashtag on topic, off topic. They are awesome, guys. Check out this and that uh, Wednesday at nine thirty on Zippity Doo Dad's channel. <clears throat> okay, so first up. Um, uh, Elliot, I will when I'm down there. I'm, I don't live in Florida. Uh, I'm, I'm prepping to go more often, but, uh, we will be live streaming from parks as well when, when I am there. So, um, we'll get, uh, we'll get to that here in the next couple of months and then we'll, uh, we'll be picking up the live streams in the parks a little bit. So, Hey, Melissa, how are you? Okay, guys. So we're going to get right into this. Um, starting with Woody and robot. So robot is the little robot that helps buzz fix his ship when it's broken in toy story one. Uh, he, he doesn't have a very big part at all. So, and I don't think this is going to be a competition, but it, he's on the list. So Woody and robot, who do you vote for? So that, uh, thanks mouse talk, buddy. I appreciate that. Rob does love the robot. Awesome. So we got Woody from, we got Woody from Rob. I think everybody's gonna say Woody pretty much, but Kay Atwood, LSU, Mama Gail. Sheriff Woody for Mouse Talk. It's his favorite character. Melissa. Uh, Doe and Tim Milton. Woody by a zillion. Woody. Woody. We are going to try to stream at WD. That's awesome, Two Real Geeks. I'll be there in August streaming. Woody, 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 Woody. Yeah, my bracket is set up as a traditional 64 team bracket. We do have 64 uh, characters. So, yeah, the first, uh, first seed always comes in that first bracket. Oh, thank you so much, Rachel. I appreciate you. Okay, guys. Well, it doesn't look like... Oh, we got a robot for two real geeks. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be enough to put over. Pete McDevitt, buddy. How are you? Good to see you. Woody is a 300 to 1 favorite there. <laughs> it might be more than that, man. <laughs> it might be more than that. So we have... Uh, we're going to move Woody on. It's not even going to be close. So Woody moves on. All right. Next up, this is a... This one is a tour guide Barbie, which there were several different Barbies throughout the series. This one is tour guide Barbie. She's not the main Barbie, but we have tour guide Barbie versus etch the etch a sketch. So what, uh, what do you guys like there? Tour guide Barbie or etch? Yes. Thank you. Downscale. Please don't forget to hit that like button guys. It means a lot to us and helps us out a lot. The odds, but bu <laughs> what are the odds buzz and Woody are not in the top two. <laughs> Melissa says etch. Mouse talk says etch. Miguel etch. We got a tour guide Barbie from Donna. Etch. Etch etch. Tour guide by tour guide Barbie. Etch etch. Etch a sketch. Etch. Tour guide Barbie was pretty. Yeah, she was funny. Tour guide Barbie. Etch etch. Tour guide Barbie. 
at 225 to one here. It's not quite that big of an odd, or it's not that quite big of a spread, but it is, uh, it is looking like pretty heavily. R. Johns comes in for etch. Yeah, it's it's pretty lopsided right now for etch a sketch, and I like etch. But tour guide, yeah, I agree. Tour guide Barbie was funny, but we're gonna move etch on. All right, next up, this is the main one. We have Molly's Barbie versus Hand in the Box, and Hand in the Box is one of uh, Sid's creations where the jack of the box opens up and the spring comes out with the hand attached to it. So we have Molly's Barbie and hand in the box. Which one do you guys like there? 10 to one Woody over buzz. Interesting. Two real geeks says hand in the box. So does Jeff Dole Whip dad, Molly's Barbie. It's two to one for the hand. Oh, thanks Patrick. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Molly's Barbie from Downscale. That's uh, two to two. That hand thing is creepy. <laughs> yeah, I know. What do we got here? Three to two hand, four to two hand, four to three, four to four, five to four, six to four, six to five, seven, five, seven, six, seven, seven. It's eight to seven in favor of Molly's Barbie. Nine, seven. Nine, seven for Molly's Barbie. Nine, eight for Molly's Barbie. There are five more of you in here that have not voted. Nine. Well, I think I'm technically one of those. <laughs> we have 10, eight Molly's Barbie. Hello, Captain Akron. How are you, buddy? Yes, it is so much closer than it should be. I thought, I didn't think it would be a, uh, either it's 10 to nine, 11 to nine for a Amy with AJC magic TV. How are you? We have 11 to nine, 11 to 10, my Disney park memories. It's 11 to 10 for Molly's Barbie. That is 21. There is one person left that has not voted and myself. But if it winds up in a tie, I'm going to vote for Molly's Barbie as well. So Molly's Barbie is going to win. That hand thing just creeps me out. Pretty much all those toys in that room creep me out. <clears throat> okay, next up, we have Mrs. Potato Head. Mrs. Potato Head, who showed up in at the end of Toy Story 1, the beginning of Toy Story 2. And Sparks. And Sparks is another robot. Uh, I can't remember which one he's from. I had him up here just so I, in case I needed to see who he was. He is a, uh, I think he's one of Lotso's gang. And um, he is, uh, he's got like a magnet or something on his hand. But uh, his name is Sparks. He, he ran around with uh, Chunk, the, the, the rock guy, and the rest of Lotso's gang. <clears throat> so he's like Mrs. Potato Head or... Uh, sparks. We have one, two. She gets a sympathy vote. Melissa says <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Here are your angry eyes, just in case. <laughs> Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 for Mrs. Potato Head, 15, 400 to one. Pete says 16, 17, 18. Well, that's an overwhelmingly large amount. Sparks is the one that gets taller when you press his hand down right i'm not 100 percent sure i think so he kind of looks like a casino slot machine to me but um but it's not gonna matter because mr mrs potato head is uh crushing him right now so we're gonna move on mrs potato head all right up next we have ken which is barbie the ken doll versus totoro and totoro is that big gray and white rabbit looking thing he's just a big round he's gray he's got a big white belly and then he's got uh i think he's a rabbit anyways he looks like a rabbit to me so you have uh ken and totoro which one do you think thanks rob i appreciate that buddy which one do you guys like ken or totoro ken ken michael keaton ken ken nice ass scott <laughs> yes holly that's one of my favorite parts and melissa wrote it too one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That is plenty enough for Ken to win. Yeah, you don't know the other guy at all. Totoro's, a, I think he's a Jap from the Japanese toy culture. I could be wrong. It is uh, way too many for uh, for Ken to win, to lose. So, And Noah, thank you, buddy, for being here. I appreciate you. So we're moving on, Ken. Oops, broke my ink pen. All right, next up. Some of you may have not seen this one yet, but the first one is Ducky and Bunny. They're together. And if you've seen Toy Story 4, 
You know why. So you have Ducky and Bunny from Toy Story 4 versus Mr. Shark from Toy Story 1. Mr. Shark's the uh, one that came out with Woody's hat when Woody got stuck in the in the um, toy box that night. So you have Ducky and Bunny and Mr. Shark. Which one do you guys like there? I was once a Japanese toy chef. <laughs> Gee, Steve, you ever get off live stream? Oh, Joey, I know, buddy. Welcome into the stream first off. This is, I, I lost track, man. This is either 9 or 10 in the last eight days, I think. So yeah, it's been a while. Uh, we got Ducky and Bunny, Ducky and Bunny, Ducky and Bunny in the trailer. They aren't together. It's all, I know, but they are together in the movie. Uh, four, five, five to one. I saw a shark. Oops. It just jumped six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine, one, 10, one, 11, one, 12, 13 to two. Who do I vote for on this one? I vote for shark, Rob. <laughs> I think you know that. Um, Ducky and Bunny being 30 to 1 at favorites. Ducky and Bunny are crushing Mr. Shark. Mr. Shark only has two votes. Everybody else is voting for. Uh, hey, Jelly, how are you? Everybody else is voting for Ducky and Bunny. Rob knows I cannot stand Ducky and Bunny. Rachel voted for Shark, too. There's three. Uh, <laughs> they're the only reason Holly wants to see Toy Story 4. Holly, Forky is incredible in that movie. Forky is, is really incredible. All right, guys, you know, a couple of you changed your vote to Mr. Shark. I appreciate that, but it's still not enough. So we're going to move on, Ducky and Bunny. And up next, we have from Toy Story 3, we have the symbol monkey, the one that was keeping uh, watch of the security cameras. So we have the symbol monkey versus the troll, which is just your normal troll doll. It's in a, I think it's in a couple of the different movies. Uh, but so you have... Symbol Monkey versus Troll. Which one do you guys like there? Yes, Arjons is definitely a legend. You wish you could super chat Forky? <laughs> Forky's awesome. On the Eye in the Sky Monkey. Yes. So we got one to one. Two. Whoa, it's going fast. We have two, two, three, two, three, three. Four three five three five four five five six five six six seven six eight six nine six ten six eleven twelve twelve seven twelve eight twelve nine twelve ten thirteen to ten thirteen to eleven in favor of the troll thirteen to eleven in favor of the troll troll does zero <laughs> so he's got pretty pink hair thirteen to eleven. Who else has not voted, if anybody? You, yes, you binge watch Toy Story 1 through 3. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, give it about five more seconds, and then it's going to be a 13 to 11 vote for the troll. Oh, Jelly's Journey's votes for the monkey. That's 13 to 12. Give it a few more seconds. Please don't vote twice if you if you guys uh, won't, because I'm not. I can't keep track of who's voted already. Okay, we are moving on the troll. The troll, and that is the, uh, by the seedings brackets, that's the first upset. All right, last one on the top left-hand bracket, we have Slinky Dog versus Roller Bob, and Roller Bob is the guy on the front of the skateboard that, um, that uh, Sid made in the room. He's just the little body that's sticking off the front of the skateboard, and he paddles with his hands. So that's Roller Bob. Versus Slinky Dog. Which one do you guys like there? Hey, you, me, and Benny, how are you? We got Slinky, 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 Slinky. I'm surprised to see so many mods vote in favor of a troll. <laughs> That's great, Downscale. Slinky, Slinky. Everybody's voting for Slinky. <clears throat> slinky, Slinky. Hey, PJ, what's up, buddy? Zippity Doodad's son is here. If you guys haven't checked out Zippity Doodad's son, please go check him out. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, his name's PJ, and he does a lot. He's starting his channel fresh. He's going to do a lot with some games and toys and stuff. So go check out PJ. And it looks like there's not even going to be close. Slinky Dog is crushing Roller Bob. Um, what's up, buddy? Please remember to bop that. No, thanks, Shep. Appreciate that. You guys, make sure all of my partner channels and power channels. Oh, and I forgot one power channel, too. Disney Dan is also a power channel. All those guys are down in the link below. Please go make sure you subscribe to all of them. 
Don't forget the three uh, other members of this and that crew. So we rotate this and that on other channels. So make sure you uh, subscribe to all of us so that you guys don't miss any. Steve, two bracket, Woody over Slinky, paying three to one. <laughs> well, we'll see. Hey, Karen Cook, thank you so much for showing up again. You are, uh, you've been here a lot lately. I appreciate you. All right, guys, so we're moving on, Slinky Dog, in that round. All right, bottom left half of the bracket, we have, uh, where is the wolf? <laughs> we have Rex. Rex is up. You're all sitting around the dining table. Oh, thanks, guys. You guys are awesome. The Zippity Doo family is pretty cool. You got Zippity Doo dad, Zippity Doo mom, and Zippity Doo son. Go catch them all up out. They're uh, they're really cool. Good friends of mine. So you have Rex versus Bookworm, and Bookworm has like a thirty second part in the whole entire series, I think. But he's there. So you have Rex versus Bookworm. Which one do you guys like there? Thanks, Noah. I appreciate that, buddy. Yes, we have Rex. Rex, 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 Rex. <laughs> yes. Rex, Rex, Rex. What's your top Disney rides? Flight of Passage, hands down, Elliot. Not even close. I also love Slinky Dog. I like uh, Soarin', Test Track. Um, there's, there's several I like, but Flight of Passage, hands down for me. Uh, Expedition Everest is another one. We have Rex, 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 Rex. Hey, Melissa Fritz Singer, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Everyone, Steve is all. Oh, thanks so much, Rachel. I really appreciate you. Yeah, Flight of Passage is incredibly hard to beat. The only thing with Flight of Passage is there, I have seen some people say they get motion sickness on it. Um, it doesn't really move, but it simulates that you're moving, and, if, and a, the screen is like completely surrounding your eyes. So if you do get you do get uh, motion sickness easy it may not be what you want to go on all right so we're going to move on rex next up we have dolly which is um the it's the half burnt doll from sid again sid's not very nice to his toys we have dolly versus ducky the spring ducky from sid so one of sid's toys is going to win here we have the half burnt dolly or we have Ducky, which is like a rubber duck on a spring that hops. And I think he's the one that um, he drops from the light to pick up whatever it is to the uh, roller bob to take him back up to get away from Scud in Toy Story. So um, I don't get motion sickness, but the smells they pump in made me feel sick. Oh, really? I, see, I thought that was the great thing, you and me and Benny. I loved the, uh, I loved the smells. Okay, we have Dolly Dolly. Ducky, ducky, it's two to two, three, two, three, three, th uh, four, three, four, four, five, six, seven to four, seven, five, eight, five, eight, six, <laughs> crispy dolly, nine, six, nine, seven, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine, eleven, twelve, nine, twelve, ten, twelve, eleven, twelve, twelve. We have twelve to twelve guys right now. Ducky and Dolly, 12 to 12. I am, oh, uh, oh, the dog. Gotcha. Noah voting for Crispy Dolly. Arjun's voting for the Ducky. Um, oh, I already had Noah's vote. So that puts Ducky up by one. We have, and Rachel, I will get, I, I see your comment to uh, Mouse Talk there. I still, I have, I'll get my dog, I promise. PJ, I need a refill. Yes, PJ, get a refill, please. So, guys, we have Ducky up by one. The word duck has been mentioned 19 times in this chat. <laughs> if you're just joining us again, these are the koozies that Nicole C., Zippity Doo Mom, made us for the Dis and That channel. Hashtag on topic, off topic. Really cool. Uh, he's in the other room, Rachel. I can't right now. Um, so it looks like Ducky is moving on. Ducky will move on. That was a close one. <clears throat> All right. Here we have another uh, new character from Toy Story 4. Um, we have um, Duke Kaboom from the new... Keanu Reeves plays Duke Kaboom in the new movie. And we have Marie Antoinette. And Marie Antoinette is the doll that sitting at the tea party that Sid has beheaded. So it's just the body of a doll. 
So you have Duke Kaboom and Marie Antoinette. What's your top Disney attractions, Elliot? Um, Lion, Festival of Lion King is pretty incredible. I love all the fireworks shows if you can consider them attractions. Um, Beauty and the Beast one is great, and I and a lot of people get tired of it, but I love the Frozen Sing Along attraction. It's pretty cool. Um, it's got a nice surprise at the end for anybody that hasn't seen it, and it's just really good. Um, well, I'm not even going to count this. I see one vote from Maria from Zippity Doodad. Everybody else likes Duke Kaboom. And Duke Keanu Kaboom. <laughs> and Mike says Marie Antoinette as well. Uh, Duke Kaboom's okay. He he didn't have as big a part as I would like for him to have had in the movie. But uh, he's, he's still okay. And it is Canada. Very good, Amy. It is Canada Day, which is happy birthday to Canada, Cargo's country. Um, and Duke is from Canada. So everybody's voting for him for that reason. Yes, make sure you stay for the entire credits if you go watch it. And yes, K Karen, I, I too, I love that uh, Frozen sing-along. So we're moving on, Duke Kaboom. All right, up next we have Forky from For Toy Story 4 as well. We have Forky versus Twitch. And Twitch is like uh, the bug-looking guy from uh, Toy Story 3. He's one of Lotso's gang. Happy Canada, eh? So we have Forky. I honestly think is amazing in the movie versus Twitch. Who is the bug thing from Lotso's gang? Yes. Forky already wins. Forky, 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 Forky. Forky hashtag. I am not a toy. <laughs> yes. Trash. I can't, I'm not going to say any more than that. Cause I want you guys to see it. <laughs> so Forky, Forky. Yes. Forky was incredible. My favorite by far in, in toy story four was Forky. Uh, <laughs> Forky Sippity, yes, vote for Forkity Doodad for sure. Forky with the Boston accent, <laughs> Zippity Fork. These are pretty, yeah, they are pretty easy so far. Um, they get a lot harder next, but we'll keep going. There have been a couple that were only within one vote though, so all right, so Forky moves on. Next up, we have the aliens. From the claw, or if you're Shep, the crane. We have aliens versus Benson. And Benson, I'm trying to remember which one Benson is. Hang on one second. Not that it really is going to matter. But Benson is, I don't see him on here. Um, Benson, 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 Benson. Well, I don't see Benson. So just take it for a fact that he's in there somewhere. And he is going up against the green aliens. Like I said, I don't think it's going to matter. But uh, I'm still looking for him real quick. Benson? I don't see him. So alien, I don't think it's going to matter anyways. Oh, David Stevens, welcome in. David Stevens votes for Benson. Benson, you know Rafiki in another movie. Oh, Benson. I got you. Um, it's still not as good as the aliens, in my opinion, though. So I'm going to stick with uh, the aliens vote here because it is a lot of people here voting for them. Um, to be, I got to be honest. I don't remember who Benson is. Uh, somebody remembers him. Benson is the... No, that's Vincent. Vincent is... Uh, I think Vincent is the, the, do the dummies from... Um, Toy Story 4. To make correct me if I'm wrong. And oops. Trying to uh I do have this one that's taking up a lot of it won't go away for some reason. There we go. So um Ben's because he is crazy. There we go. And if we lag there for a minute, I'm sorry. Now we're back though. Um so yes, we are gonna go with the alien Benson is one of the dummies. I thought Vincent Vincent was the dummies. I don't remember who Benson was. So, but regardless, um, the aliens have the votes. So we are going with aliens. All right. Next up, we have Wheezy versus Lenny. Wheezy is like the little uh, penguin dude that uh coughs he's, he's got the little thing in his mouth that he's he's missing and he, and he wheezes 
And then Lenny is the pair of binoculars from Toy Story. So both these are Toy Story 1 characters primarily. You have Wheezy versus Lenny. Which one is your favorite? Wheezy, Wheezy, Wheezy. Chef asked a cast member. <laughs> I love our inside jokes. Yep, Ian is being asked. And by the way, guys, if you missed it, uh, last Friday was Ian's birthday. So thank you all for everybody that wished Ian a very happy birthday. He really appreciated it. So we have Wheezy, 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 Wheezy. This is not the Jefferson Wheezy. Lenny, Wheezy, 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 Wheezy. Wheezy because I love the name from the Jeffersons back in the day. Nice, Mike. Wheezy, Wheezy. Cast member is hashtag money. Hey, Kelly with the Mickey. Mick, dick, cannot talk. Sorry. Kelly with the Mickey bunch. Thank you so much. Have a good night, Rosa. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, Wheezy, happy birthday. Ian, Rachel says. Thank you, Rachel. Everybody say goodbye to uh, part of Rosa's world, please. And Wheezy is moving on. Okay, next up, this one could be close if everybody's seen it. So you have Bullseye, the horse from Toy Story 2, Bullseye, going up against Knifey. Knifey is from the end of Toy, or Toy Story 4. So I'm not going to say much else about Knifey other than if you know who it is, go ahead and vote. Um, Ada and Julio Cash, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. And Six Hand Spice family, thank you so much for being here, guys. Appreciate it. So we have Bullseye, the horse from Toy Story 2, versus uh, Knifey. Which one do you guys like there? Happy 44th birthday to the TPA. Uh, I don't know what TPA is. Can you fill me in there, Mike? So we have Bullseye, Bullseye. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. Lots of bullseyes. How in the world do you think that would be close? I s just, I'm entitled to my opinion, man. See, there's a vote for Knifey. I would have voted for Knifey. Bullseye is kind of, oh, the people mover, TTA. Or T. Yeah, TTA, I think is what it's called. That thing's older than I am. Okay, so everybody, except for a few of us, are voting for Knifey, or everybody's voting for Bullseye, and a few of us are voting Knifey. Also known as the people where I got you. I thought it said something. I thought you wrote something else up there, Mike. My fault. Um, yeah, TTA, uh, something that I have got to learn to like in August. We, uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna try to make me a believer of it. I didn't like it 20 years ago, and I've never been on it since 15 or 20 years ago. Okay, so it wasn't close. Bullseye moves on. Next up, we have, on the last one on the left side, we have Lotso Huggin' Bear. The, uh, if you want to call him the villain from Toy Story 3. Lotso Huggin' Bear versus the walking car. And that's the car that Sid took off the wheels and put hands and feet on, or hands and legs. So you'll like it now. See, I think I will, Dean. I really do think I'll like it now. Um do you like the Disney prices now? You know what, Elliot? No, but I'm going to keep going. And as long as people keep going, Disney will still raise the prices. So it just depends. On, it, there's lots of ways to help minimize the cost. So uh, you just got to keep working at it. So lots of hugging bear versus the walking car. We have lots of, why didn't you like TTA? It was boring at the time, Kay, but I was younger and more into thrill rides than the uh, overall experience and nostalgia that I am into now. So it'll be a lot different this time. Lotso, 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 lotso. Dole Whip Dad says the car. Lotso, lotso, lotso. This group was right on the money with that one. They hit it right on. There is the dad joke from Walt. Hit it right in the bullseye. Lotso with a bunch of strawberries. Yes, I love Lotso Hugging Bear. Lotso, but I didn't like him at all. Really, Rob? Lotso for Meg since she's not here. Lotso. <laughs> lotso, lotso. <laughs> Is that an autocorrect, Shep, or did you do that on purpose? Lotso for Rachel, Lotso, Lotso. Yeah, it's Lotso all the way. Okay, so Lotso is moving on, and that makes me happy. All right, right side, we have Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear versus the Barrel of Monkeys. 
Buzz Lightyear versus the Barrel of Monkeys. I think I know which one this is going to go, but it's your guys' vote. We have Buzz Lightyear versus Barrel of Monkeys. Yeah, Ned Beatty was incredible downscale. Uh, Buzz, Buzz, Pete, 1,000 on Forky. <laughs> buzz, 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 but Brian, yes. Shep is also known as Buzz. If you guys missed that stream, please go back and watch it. It was on my channel two or three weeks ago. We did a Toy Story stream. It was pretty incredible in our eyes, and a lot of people gave us a lot of nice comments on it. So if you haven't seen it, please go back and check it out. So, yeah, it's a rough matchup for the monkeys. I like the monkeys, too. I really do. But there's no way they beat Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. So Shep Lightyear moves on. To the next round. All right. Up next, we have. Hey, Stacy Rogers, how are you? Steve, go back and see my left side odds. Pete, 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 Pete. Um, bottom left bracket, Forky over Rex, three to one odds. Left side of the bracket, Forky over Woody in an unseen upset. Wow. Forky on for the finals. Now, I wouldn't be upset if Forky beat Woody, but I don't know if that's going to happen. That'd be interesting. That'll happen next week. Are you sad the great movie ride is closed? No. Um, I'm one of those people that was happy to see it go because it was the same thing over and over and over again. I really wish they would have kept it and changed the scenes, but they decided not to do that. I will like the great movie ride over the new ride they're putting in, but I thought it needed a massive update and they didn't do it yet. So next up we have Emperor Zerg, the villain from, he was mentioned in one, he's the villain pretty much in number two, versus Billy Goat and Gruff. And Billy Goat and Gruff are the three sheep that are, um, they're all together, they're Bo Peep's three sheep in Toy Story 4. So you got Emperor Zerg versus Billy Goat Gruff. Which one do you guys like there? So we have Zerg, 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 Zerg. Zerg, surgery from Melissa. <laughs> I think that was an autocorrect. Zerg, Zerg, Billy Goat Gruff from Karen. Bill, I'll tell you, Billy Goat Gruff are all, they're pretty funny, but uh, I, Zerg's my guy. I can't go against Zerg. I can't hate on Buzz's dad. <laughs> That's true downscale. Zerg, 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 Billy Goat Gruff. All right, it is overwhelmingly in favor of Emperor Zerg. So we are moving him on. Emperor, let me get a pen that actually is writing right. Emperor Zerg, there we go. All right, next up we have Chuckles the Clown, which is from Toy Story 3. He's the one that explains what happened to Lotso Bear. Chuckles the Clown versus Rocky Gibraltar. And Rocky Gibraltar is another one of those characters, I think... I want to say he's one that Sid made. He's either one that Sid made or he's one from Lotso's gang. I can't remember which one he is. But uh, you have Chuckles the Clown versus Rocky Gibraltar. Which one do you guys like there? Until I saw Toy Story 4, I thought those three sheep connected where they're sitting. Yeah. They are kind of they are kind of odd. <clears throat> Buzz, I am your father. We have the Chuckles, 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 Chuckles. Chuckles, I guess. Yeah. Chuckles is awesome. Chuckles the Clown. Chuckles. I, I'm not a fan of clowns. I would have voted for Chuckles. But Walt's voting for Rocky Gibraltar. It is a good name. Chuckles, Chuckles. I am not a big Toy Story fan. I don't know either. Wow, Jelly. Well, these are these are kind of not main characters here. But it is interesting that you're not a Toy Story fan, though. Chuckles, 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 Chuckles. I want to vote for the monkeys here. <laughs> That's Yeah, they should have fallen in here. Chuckles, neither. Okay, we got plenty of votes for Chuckles the Clown, so Chuckles is going to move on. Chuckles the Clown. All right, up next, from the new movie, we have Gabby Gabby, who was a really good character. If you haven't seen it, she's the one in the yellow dress. Um, I really liked her character a lot. Her name's Gabby Gabby versus Chunk, and Chunk is the rock, the solid rock with arms from Lotso's gang. Um, he, I think he he had the mouth that you could hit the thing and the mouth would change to a happy face or a sad or an angry face. So Gabby Gabby versus Chunk. Yes, Gabby Gabby was totally awesome in the movie. Thanks, Patrick. 
Uh, the whole intro to Toy Story 2 is laced with Star Wars references. Nice. We have Gabby, 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 Gabby. Oh, wow. Lots of Gabby, Gabby. I'm a, am I a DCVC member? It's funny you asked, Elliot, because I looked today to become one. So I'm planning on being one in the future. But um, but uh, right now, as of this minute, no. But I'm uh, I'm looking at something and possibly going to purchase something tonight. But I'll, I'll keep you guys informed. Um, yeah, Gabby, Gabby, you like the first one. The rest are sad or have sad parts. I'll tell you what, Toy Story 3 was extremely emotional. This movie, Toy Story 4, was emotional as well. But uh, Toy Story 3 still, that that fire scene with the claw at the end is really still one of the most emotional parts of any movie for me. Uh, great minds think alike. Jelly rolls. <laughs> um, so it looks like Gabby Gabby is going to win by a long, landslide. Yes, dance, down scale. I keep hearing it's awesome. Thanks, Mouse Talk. I appreciate it, buddy. Which one did you cry at, Shep? Toy Story 3 or Toy Story 4? Gabby Gabby is moving on. I'm not gonna lie. Toy Story 4 was a little emotional, so that, you know, it, it'll make you emotional as well, but Toy Story 3 still, all of them, yeah. <laughs> Toy Story 3 is really, really emotional. Like, if you really get into the movies and you let yourself go, it, it'll get you. All right, next up, we have Jesse from Toy Story 2 and on versus Peas in a Pod. Jelly, again, I don't think it was as sad as 3, but it's it's good. Yes, downscale, I agree 100%. Definitely on Toy Story 3, but still got emotional on Toy Story 4. Um, Jesse versus Peas in a Pod. Which one do you guys like there? Peas in the Pod are really cute, but I know it's Jesse. Rob says peas 1,000%. I got to be honest, Jesse's not one of my favorite characters. I don't like it that much. I think she's very vital to the story, and I would pick her over peas in the pod, but she's not one of my favorite characters. Yeah, everybody but uh, Nope. Peas in a pod. Jesse thumbs down. I agree, Zip. I'm not a fan of Jesse either. Peas are cute, but because of how much she meant to this, the story, I've got to go with Jesse if I had to vote, but... Pepper Tree, what's up, guys? And for those of you that just came in again, Zippity Doodad's wife, uh, Nicole C., made these nice koozies for us. This and that for our show on Wednesdays. If you are not visited our show on Wednesdays, we get hashtag on topic, off topic. Please make sure you subscribe to all four of us so that you don't miss it. This week it is on Zippity Doodad's channel. And go back and catch the first five episodes. They've all been really fun and entertaining in our opinion anyways. So it looks like Jesse's going to move on. All right, up next we have Mr. Prickle Pants versus Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I had Rock'em Sock'em Robots when I was a kid. P yes, now, Stacy, I have this, the peas in the pod, Sum Sums. I think they're really cool, <laughs> but they do make a weird Sum Sum. Uh, Mr. Prickle Pants versus Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Which one do you guys like here? This and that, episode six. I can't wait. So freaking funny. Thank you. Appreciate it, Downscale. Good night, PJ. Get some sleep, buddy. We have Mr. Prickle Pants, Prickle Pants, Rock 'em, Rock 'em. That's two to two, three to two, three to three, four to four. I've not been to Club 33, Elliot. I really want to. We have five to four, six to four. Oop, you guys are going too fast. Seven, four, eight, four, nine, four, nine, five, nine, six, ten, six. Oh, come on. 11, 6, 12, 6, 13 to 6, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, it's getting out of hand now. Oh, yeah, it's still out of hand. Mr. Prickle Pants is winning handily. I've been to Club 34, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to be to Club 33. I have not done it yet, though. And thanks for the questions, Elliot. I appreciate it, buddy. Everyone keeps getting blocked. <laughs> Yes, I'm not sure how uh, Mr. Prickle Pants is uh, is blocking people, but we'll go with it. And it looks like he's going to win, so Mr. Prickle Pants is on. Thank you, Mods, for uh, pushing those through. Okay, up next we have the RC car, which is very vital to Tour Story 1. 
and Stretch. And Stretch is the octopus from Toy Story 3 from Lotso's gang. So you have uh, the RC car, which helped Woody and Buzz get to the Andy's moving van or the car. And Stretch, the octopus, the purple octopus from uh, Toy Story 3, Lotso's gang. Which one do you guys like there? Uh, uh, yeah, RC all the way so far. I don't think this is going to be close. Uh, RC, 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 RC. I got a question. I got a question. Who's my favorite YouTuber besides myself? I'm going to go outside this community because there's so many great ones in this community. I, I love a lot of them. You can catch most of them on my um, description below. The, this this community has a lot, a ton of, um, an absolute ton of uh, great YouTubers. But outside this community, my favorite to watch is a group called the Dangy Bros. It's D-A-N-G-I-E-B-R-O-S. They are uh, three brothers from California. Uh, they love Disney. They love the Dodgers, which I do too. And they do they do some things in their backyard that are just crazy. Um, really, really entertaining and really cool to watch. So uh, if you uh, if you haven't caught them yet, go check out the Dangy Bros. They've got over two million viewers. They're they're really cool. Uh, what's my favorite Disney park? Animal Kingdom is my favorite Disney park right now. Go Dodgers, Jeff. Yes. I said outside of this community, Jelly. <laughs> There's a lot of good people in this community. All right, so this doesn't look close. We're going to move on. RC car. All right, up next we have Ham versus Jingle Joe. And Jingle Joe is another one of Sid's creations. He's the guy that sits up, and then he's on a roller. It looks like a little rolling pin, and he rolls where he's going. He's with Roller Bob a lot, too. But he's uh, he jingles as he goes through the – as he rolls. So you have – Ham the pig versus Jingle Joe. Which one do you guys like there? Brandy and Dave, what's up, guys? That's the other member of the This and That crew. Make sure you go subscribe to them as well so you don't miss anything from us. We do have a great community. Ham, 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 ham. Disney Fanatic, thank you for being here, guys. And Disney Mom of Two, thank you for being here. Guys, if I miss you, I apologize. I'm trying to keep up. We got a lot of votes coming in, a lot of people chatting. I, I, it's, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I'm doing the best I can to keep up. Hopefully, I get you all. If not, just repost, and I'll get back to you as well. And two, two real geeks, says Jingle. Interesting. Ham, ham, ham. Evil Dr. Porkchop, as he's known. Uh, yeah, Mr. Ratcliffe, he is he is pretty cool. Uh, ham, this is not even close. We're going to move on to ham as well. All right, we got one more set of brackets to get through here. We have a few minutes to get it done. We should be on track. Then we'll wrap up with some closing comments, and we'll go from there. So up next, we have Mr. Potato Head. We have Mr. Potato Head versus Mr. Mike. And Mr. Mike is the microphone that Woody uses to speak when he does his um, when he does his um, uh, uh, group meetings. So you have Mr. Potato Head and Mr. Mike. Which one do you guys like there? No problem. Uh, <laughs> two real geeks. I appreciate you being here, but uh, don't don't text and drive. Be safe. What's your favorite Disney fireworks? Illuminations by far. Um, I'm gonna be sad after it goes away, but everything brings something new, and hopefully it'll be good. I will try to remember to go get the dog as soon as I'm done. So we have Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head, Don Rickles, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike, Mr. Potato, 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 Potato. How many more subs until Splash Mountain? They are less than 100. I am a married spud. <laughs> uh, Mr. Potato Head, Mr. Potato Head. Illuminations is the best. I agree, downscale. Uh, Fantasmic is pretty good, too. They're, they're all really good. Don't get me wrong. I love Rivers of Light. I love Happily Ever After. I watch them all every time I go. But... Illuminations is really special to me. I like the unity and the music for it. And it, it's even more special now that uh, October th October 31st is, no, September 30th is the last um, viewing for it. Yes, Miguel, I agree. Okay, so Mr. Potato Head moves on. And up next, Epcot Forever. Yeah, Elliot, I agree 100%. Epcot Forever is going to be great. And then the new show that's going to, that, that one's just temporary. Then the new show that's going to come in after that will be incredible as well. 
they don't they don't downgrade when they do those. Just like Wishes was popular, Happily Ever After to me is way is a lot better. They get they get better, and I knew something better was going to replace Illuminations. It just I really like Illuminations. And yes, Karen, I watched somebody stream the new version of Rivers Light, and it I, it was so much better than the original version too. So I completely agree. Um, and a lot of people don't like the IP stuff they keep bringing in. Disney is all about IP, and I have no problem with it myself. So even Epcot, they could turn the entire park into IP stuff and it wouldn't hurt me in one bit, but um, I, I just like it. So, all right, up next we have legs, which is a pair of legs with a fishing rod attached to it that Sid created versus Molly, which was um, another doll of um, just another doll. <laughs> one of those dolls, I think it belonged to, that one might be the one that belonged to Hannah. Uh, Sid's sister. I can't remember, but you have Molly and you have legs. Which one do you guys vote for? Legs, 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 Molly, legs, 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 legs. I'll tell you of all the ones of all the creations that Sid built legs is my favorite. So I think it's a pair of Barbie legs with a fishing, with a fishing pole hanging off the end of it. So, uh, legs, 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 legs. Yeah, legs was funny looking. All right, you're not funny. It doesn't matter. This one, this one's already in the books, anyways. Legs wins by a mile. All right, up next, we have one, two, three, four, five, six more guys. We have Big Baby, who is Lotso's right hand man. Big Baby versus Combat Carl, and Combat Carl is in Toy Story One. He's the one Sid blows up. And then he makes a comeback, uh, multiple combat Carls in um, Toy Story 4. Greg Disney Adventures, how are you, buddy? Thank you for coming. So you have um, Big Baby versus Combat Carl. We have one, two, three, four to two in favor of Combat Carl. Five, two, six, two, seven, two, seven, three, eight, three, nine, three, nine, four. 10 to 4, 11 to 4. Legs wins by a foot. <laughs> uh, 11 to 4 right now. 11 to 5. 11 to 5. 12 to 5 in favor of Combat Carl. 13 5. And I'll be honest with you, when I, if I was going by the Combat Carl that got blown up in Toy Story 1, I would easily say Big Baby here. But the Combat Carls were pretty funny in... Uh, Toy Story 4. So come back, Carl, because that is my dad's name. Oh, nice, Elliot. Um, yeah, so Toy Story 4 with Combat Carls, they're pretty funny. So I would have to vote for Combat Carl myself as well, just because of Toy Story 4. If it was just because of Toy Story 1, I would have gone with Big Baby, because I like Big Baby's character. But Toy Story 4 is what I would go with. So we are going, I mean, yeah, the Combat Carl, Toy Story 4. We're going with Combat Carl moving on. Up next, we have Trixie the Dinosaur. Trixie the Dinosaur. That's okay, Melissa. It's good. You, you, you guys will like it a lot. We have Trixie the Dinosaur versus Giggle McDimples. And I think uh, those are both toys from uh, Bonnie's room originally, if I remember correctly. Yes, we need to get Shep to 300, please. Everybody go visit Shep Family's um, channel and make sure you get them. There's, he's starting to put out some really good content. Extremely good friend of mine. Make sure you go. Uh, make sure you go see the Shep Family. We have Trixie, 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 Giggle, Trixie, 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 Trixie. It sounds like Gollum from the uh, Lord of the Rings. Trixie, Trixie, nice downscale. Trixie. Steve, is that your beagle barking? <laughs> no, Pete, it is not. <laughs> Trixie. Looks like Trixie's going to win by a mile. We're moving on, Trixie. Next up, we have Bo Peep. And honestly, it doesn't really matter who the other one is, but it's Mr. Spell. Like the, uh, the thing that spells out the words on his... It's the alphabet thing. So you have Bo Peep and Mr. Spell. Yes, Cargo votes for Trixie a thousand times. So I knew that one was going to win anyways. So we have Trixie 
and I'm sorry, we have Bo Peep and Mr. Spell. Which one do you guys like there? Mr. Spell. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I do like you, Mr. Spell. Um, Mr. Bo, Bo, Bo. Thanks, guys. Keep uh, post, My mods, post our, all the uh, post the this and that crew. Post my partner channels, please. Bo, 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 Bo. The original Bo Peep. Yes, Dave Bo Peep from Brandy and Dave. There it is, Donna just put it in, Dave Bo Peep. Um, if you haven't seen Dave Bo Peep, please go do so. It's on uh, my channel, and it was about two weeks ago, our Toy Story stream. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. Bo, Bo, Bo. If one of the mods wants to throw that link in there as well to the Toy Story episode for this and that, and as w at the end, somebody have the uh, zip. If you'll have the um, episode six stream available just so people can go over and bookmark it, it'd be great. Best stream ever, Melissa says. It was fun. We enjoyed it a lot. My favorite Disney movie, I have my top three are probably, it's Big Hero 6, Tangled, and probably Hunchback or Lion King, somewhere in there. Those are some of the great, I love Princess and the Frog too, a lot. So Big Hero 6 is probably one of my favorites though. It's a, it's another good emotional one. All right, Bo Peep is moving on. We have three more guys. We're getting really close to time. We have the Prospector from Toy Story 2, and we have the Chatter Telephone. The Chatter Telephone is the the phone that wheels out to Woody and and warns him um, in Toy Story 3. So <clears throat> which one do you guys like there, the Prospector or the Chatter Telephone? Thanks, guys. Appreciate that for all the posting. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the Prospector or Chatter Telephone? Stinky Pete, exactly. Uh, Stinky Pete. And guys, if you haven't seen Pepper Tree Villa, they're gonna. They're trying what is called Jew Live instead of July. He's going to try to go live every day this month. So make sure you go check out Pepper Tree Villa. We have um, Prospector one, two to one, two to two, three to two, four to two, five to two, five three, six three, seven three, seven four, eight four, eight five, eight six, eight seven, nine seven, ten seven in favor of Prospector right now. 11-7 for Prospector. It's actually a little closer than I thought it would be. Eleven seven, eleven eight. 8 Get a few more seconds here. <laughs> I'm going live every day in 29. No, it's been a long week. 13. Is that Kelsey Grammer? Who wouldn't like that? I love Kelsey Grammer. Stinky Pete, Stinky Pete. No problem, Pepper Tree. What's your favorite Disney show? Um, I really love the old style DuckTales. I hate the new animation style that they're trying to push off, but I really, really like the old uh, um, DuckTales, and I love the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I got uh, some young nieces and nephews, and I use them as an excuse to watch it. There's a lot of chatter in this chat tonight, but something smells bad, and it's the winner of this matchup. Stinky Pete. That is correct. Stinky Pete is moving on. The Prospector. All right, two more guys. We have Buttercup, which uh, I can't remember who Buttercup is right now, versus Amy's Barbie, another Barbie doll. Somebody remind me who Buttercup is. Uh, I think it's one of Bonnie's toys. But you have Buttercup and Amy's Barbie. I have every episode of the original DuckTales on digital. If you, oh, we might have to talk. Does anyone actually like the new DuckTales? I don't, Disney fanatic. I, I, I love DuckTales. I just do not like the new... I do not like the new animation style. I don't like it in Mickey and Minnie. Um, I don't like it with um, with DuckTales. I just don't like any of that new animation style. Buttercup from the Princess Bride. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. There's two of you that said that same thing. Uh, Buttercup, 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 Buttercup. Barbie, Buttercup, Buttercup, Buttercup. Buttercup is the unicorn. Okay, so it is the unicorn. Buttercup. As yes, I like when he's rolling down the, the hill and he goes, as you wish. If you haven't seen the Princess Bride, it's a classic. Go watch it. Buttercup, Buttercup, Buttercup. I don't mind the new DD. Look, I'll watch it. I just don't like it. I wish they'd go back to the the, the old style of stuff. And that's why yeah, a lot of people are not looking for the ride because of that reason as well. Okay, so Buttercup wins. One more matchup, and then we'll close out, guys. Getting really close to nine o'clock. We have Babyface. Versus the frog. These are two Sid creations. Frog is the little wind-up toy that has the wheels. 
and he can roll. Baby face is the spider baby. It's the baby head with the the spider claws looking, and he kind of creepily crawls around. He's got all his hair pulled out. So you have baby face versus the frog. Which one do you guys like there? Yes, inconceivable. Baby face, frog, baby face, frog, two to two, three to two, three to three. Favorite Disney stage show is Lion King, Festival Lion King, easily. Uh, four to three, four to four, five to four, six to four, seven, four, seven, five, seven, six. Hey, Greg, how you doing, buddy? Eight, six, nine, six, nine, seven, nine, eight. 10, 8, 10, 9, 11 to 9 right now in favor of Babyface, the spider baby. <laughs> Miguel says Babyface, that's 12 to 9. Give it a few more seconds and then we're going to call it because I want to make sure I wrap up with the stuff we need to talk about. Two or Greek says Frog, 12, 10. About five more seconds. Yes, <laughs> I do. Okay. So we are moving on baby face and that'll do it for this week, guys. Next week we will finish the bracket. Um, we have the same number that we went through today finishes the entire bracket. So real quick before we go 21 bricks. How are you guys? Thank you so much for being here. Um, Dean at the live place, www.thelifeplace.com as well as dreamers empire in the live place on YouTube. Go check them out. He hosts the show. Incredible guy works really hard. Hosts over 60 shows. Make sure you go check him out. Um, I'll get to your odds in just a minute, Pete. Mouse Talk, my partner channel. They go live every Tuesday and when or Tuesday and Thursday, eight o'clock. Great partner channel. They go. Uh, we do a sports show together, and, sports show and Disney on Saturday nights at eight as well. Uh, just hit fifteen hundred. Going to ride Tower of Terror for the first or second time. He's terrified of it, uh, but he's going to do it in August for us. And my other partner channel, also Rob Fuzz, great supporter of this community, great supporter of mine. He goes live on when, Fridays at either four or four thirty with. Pub Talk or Frankie Friday varies each week. My Dis and That crew, my power channels, we have the Shep family, Zippity Doo Dad, Dave from Brandy and Dave. Please go check us out, guys. We work really hard on these shows. We think we're entertaining. Hopefully, you guys think we are too. We rotate between the channels. You're not going to want to miss it. Zippity Doo Mom, Nicole C, made some awesome, awesome Dis and That koozies. Hashtag on topic, off topic. A lot of the one liners you'll hear on all of our streams come from Dis and That. So make sure that you guys. Definitely catch out this and that and make sure you subscribe to everybody. The, the, they're all in the description below this Wednesday. Somebody zip, go ahead and fill the link in there this Wednesday at nine 30 uh, on zippity doodads channel, episode six of this and that the monorail lounge crawl. Please don't forget to check us out there. And then of course my other power channel is Disney Dan guys. Thank you in the chat. want to check real quick on Pete McDevitt's odds for the finals. He has Forky over Woody paying four to one as the dog as he as he dog. Buzz over Slink Stinky Pete at a heavy favorite of 50 to 1. Buzz over Forky in a very close three to two odds. Buzz wins. Interesting. I can see that happening actually, though. So, guys, I appreciate all the kind comments. Appreciate all the people coming in. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are incredible. Dog photo. I'm writing it down right now, Rachel. I'm gonna go get my dog and I'm gonna post it on Twitter. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are incredible. Please check out all the people in the description below. We'll finish the bracket next week, guys. I love each and every one of you. Thank you. We could not do this without you. Um, really, really do appreciate you. So everyone, please, uh, Part of Rose's World is coming on at 9 o'clock next. So please go make sure you check out her. And um, after that, guys, everyone have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for being here. And we will see you next time. Awesome, Elliot. I just saw you got a dog today. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, guys. Everybody have a great night.